Hey gang, Scott here. On One released their update to Photo Raw 2022. The 2022.5 release is out. It's available as a free update if you already own Photo Raw. Bunch of new things in there. There are three things that are my favorites. I'm going to cover those in this video, but uh, the show notes will have the links to the full release notes from On One with all of the different things they've added to this release. Again, if you are already a Photo Raw 2022 user, go to your help menu, hit the check for updates. You'll have that update flying into your computer in no time. And if you're not an On One Photo Raw user thinking about adding it to your toolkit, check the show notes. I've got an offer code down there that'll save you a little bit of money. So uh, let's talk about the, uh, the, the, new, the new features, the three big ones for me. First and foremost, Resize AI built into Photo Raw 2022. Now I did a whole video about Resize AI when it came out maybe a month ago as a standalone app. Well now it's built into Photo Raw and it's just right there ready to use. I'm in browse and I'm looking at a photo that yeah, I processed years and years ago from one of my very early DSLRs. It was only a, a, a six megapixel camera and I want to make a bigger print of this now, now that I can. I've got resize right here in browse and if I look at my photo size, it's telling me you can kind of, well, not really make an eight by 10 out of this. It's a small photo if I were to print it. If I wanna make something nice, like an 11 by 14 or something like that, I can scale it up. I've got resize right at my fingertips here. 11 by 14, fix my crop there, and then get into my settings to take a look at the resize, all those new AI models built right into the tool here. And if we take a look, zoomed in at 100%, on the left is the original, on the right is the resized, and look, the, the, the detail is actually improved in the eye. And so when this hits paper, it's just gonna be beautiful. I can even do a little tiny touch of smoothing so there's not too much, uh, too much grain right around her iris, but this is just fantastic. Right at your fingertips in Photo Raw. Again, I did an uh, entire video about Resize AI, all the different you know options and things that are in there. You can check out that video. I'll leave a link in the show notes if you want to dig deeper into Resize AI. There's one other thing I want to call out about Resize AI as it pertains to Photo Raw 2022.5, and that's in the export panel. Let me show you this. When you set everything up for your resizing, uh, if you're not printing yourself, you're exporting it to a file, you go to export here to get it ready for a print lab. Notice in the resize area, controlled by resize, these settings you've done on the right hand side, let me cancel that out, your photo size, your setting here, that is built into the export. So you can easily export photos from resize, all the resize logic and the AI algorithms get used. And it, it just, it's a very nice seamless workflow. So, you know, a thumbs up to on one for fitting that into the export workflow. That was very, very nice. All right. Second feature that uh, I'm excited about in 2022.5 is improved sky AI. Now this is really for sky swap and you know sky swaps if you're into that great the sky detection is even better. Um, I actually use sky swap AI in a, in a little bit of a different way to quickly get a mask to work with skies. So I'm very happy that the, uh, the algorithms are improved because that just means my masks are even better. Uh, let me show you an example of what I mean by just leveraging the sky swap AI w without actually doing a sky swap. So this photo here, the sky is very empty, but I, I kind of like the emptiness, uh, at least this, this calm, peaceful, relaxed morning. There's uh, this, everything is very, very still. And uh, so I, I want to get a little more richness into this sky here. I've done some basic color work already just to improve the, you know, the, the, the morning glow that was there with some amount of color adjustment. I want the sky to be richer here. And so I go to another, say, color adjustment here, hit the sky style. And look what happened overall. I mean, the sky got darker, you know, better, it got richer, but the roofs of the houses got too much blue. And I'm not even really keen on everything that's happening in the water either. So this is where I'll turn to the SkySwap AI to just make the mask for me fast. So you know, I hop over to sky, that detection happens, and I get a mask, right? Now, the beautiful thing about this, if I view that mask, can see what... The, uh, the tool has generated for me, I can copy this. 
I'll copy it. I don't care about the swap anymore. I just want the mask back over into effects for that color adjustment. And now I can paste that mask down. And now I have that blue in my sky how I wanted it. Just, just, just a little bit extra richness in that sky there. And if for any reason I want to have more of that color in other areas of the photo, I still have all my masking tools. I can paint in uh, more of this blue into, let's say that, let's say that I wanted some in the, in the water. I've got a brush here and uh, I want the opacity to be like really kind of low, like, you know, maybe 15 or so. Bigger feather. And then just kind of do, a, I want to do a paint in, so shift X to get that plus key and just kind of start painting some of that color back into the foreground. And you'll notice the mask swatch is, is changing there as I do this, let go. You'll see I get like a lesser gray. And so now when I do that before and after, you'll see a little bit of that color enter the foreground. But Sky Swap AI, it's improved. You'll get a better mask for your sky. You don't have to just be limited to swapping skies. Use that mask and do other things with it. So uh, that's the second thing that is cool in Photo Raw 2022.5. The third thing, this one might seem like a small one, but to me it's a big deal and it's having undo in the crop tool because when I'm doing a crop, I'll try things and I might not like it. And I like to kind of, you know, toggle back one to see uh, how things work. And actually this photo here is a good example to, uh, to show this feature. I'll hit the C key for the crop tool and I'll stick with free form right now. And you know, I'm watching the, the, the edges here. Like, okay, I don't need all that, that tree. And, and you know, this part over here is, is, not so good and I don't know maybe I want to start tugging in from this corner it's like yeah and, uh, that feels too tight I, I don't like that here I'd normally have to start kind of well where where was I did I like this better did I like that better I now have undo and this especially is helpful there's undo I can do a shift redo on that but where I find this very helpful is when you're doing your fine tuning you're just kind of saying all right let me tweak here and maybe here and all right, how does that feel? Okay, versus uh, maybe just a little bit wider before that, after that. I like having that quick keystroke access to these things. The command or control Z is so ingrained into my fingertips that it's just, I almost go there instinctively. And you know, I could do things previously with you know snapshots uh, or uh, you know, versions would be even clunkier to compare crops. But you know, having the undo here, that's, that's a big deal. It's a time saver for workflow for me. So uh, that's why it's in my top three in 2022.5. Uh, and there are a bunch of other things that have been improved as well. There's a better lens detection and correction so uh, you know less having to fiddle around with uh, this lens isn't recognized they've added more to the database they've added more camera support a whole bunch of other things that are in there uh, I'll leave a link in the show notes to the full list of features that are in this uh, release of photo raw and I hope you enjoyed the video again it's a free update if you're a photo raw user today for 2022 users just do a uh, check for updates. You'll have that coming into your computer in no time. Any other questions, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.